No. You won't escape. advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. You thought I would be easy, miss? I should have been Constantine's successor. I had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah. But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What am I, Byzantine? These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. You seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel. Last of the Palais Lobby. 
I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. Disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body with one mastermind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sophia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing. Leave her be. We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her. I know you'll try. Nicola Polo, our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is invaluable. Grazie. So, where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. He is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mr. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close.
All right, this way. A message for whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. I will gladly Do not come by Oh, <laughs> 
total disrespect for <laughs> Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Catch the master! Oh. 
You are in a position to negotiate. Kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library. And I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed Ted as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, that could be he. I have seen him before. Best have a closer look. Another enemy. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> Why do I think I know that one looks I suppose I too should exercise more. I didn't think you had the money.
Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. Bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Then your men will back off. She's all yours. I do not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. And you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening. Ezio, who are these men? Run! Oh! 
Look out! Ezio! I don't think so! Hold on! Obviously! Oh no! Va bene! I am alright! Soldier! Up ahead! I see them!
Go! So what now, Ezio? How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. <coughs> Selim! Stop! Please! Ah! So, you are the assassin, Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm... I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. Wait, look. This is crazy. What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion! What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live! The tales we tell ourselves! Don't do this! I'm saving you, idiot! Go! Go! these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf and once there, into Altair's library to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Wait. <sighs> 
such a climb. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile, and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions, and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself and let them go. End of the road. What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia, you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. Ezio. Those diagrams look like constellations, Ezio. Capricorn, the Eagle, the Sagittarius. Perhaps the keys belong to one of them. You have five keys! So they must fit a constellation with only five stars, no? Name Altair, that means eagle in the tongue of the Masyaf assassins. And the eagle constellation's brightest star is also named Altair. Its presence on this door cannot be a coincidence. You had better come out of here. I plan to. Books, no wisdom, just 
just you, fratello mio. we sent with the polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? <laughs> 